Hello everybody, I am Sacred and thank you once from once more for joining me. For joining me in Hearts of Iron 4 where we play the Black Ice mod. And look to these awesome pictures. Look what Frederick Browning said. Um and Henning von Tresco said Hitler is a dancing dervish. He must be shot down. Well there I wouldn't say he wasn't correct, so he was correct. I wish uh, they would have killed Hitler earlier. Well, we can see the VC rockets. We're gonna uh, continue our let's play as the Soviet Union on Black Ice, which will be hopefully a challenge and uh, something like we haven't seen before. Because I really wanna play something different right now. Um, let's get straight into the game. And here we are. Uh, we have. 162% of population, uh, percent, yeah, we have 162 million people living in our country. Our army is really small with only 1.92 million people, that's quite small to be honest. Uh, were we justifying against Finland? No, we were not. Green army, come on, CCU. Well, they have a, well, they have up to 25 divisions, so that's considerably nice, I mean. You don't see these amount of divisions often at defense. Well, uh, army-wise, the Turks, well, because they have mountain area, it could be, well, hard to conquer them at pace. And so what I want to do, well, I don't want to open a second front with the Turks, but, well, let's go ahead for Finland, yeah. Wasalizing Finland, just eliminating this threat will be... Just helpful. Let's justify against them. We'll be done at March uh, 1947 anyway, so... And our base in Vladivostok is in low supply. Why? Oh yeah, uh, demand Karhala, send the ultimatum. Finland cannot expect to withstand the might of the Red Army. If we send them a demand for our rightfully claimed in Karyala, they may just hand it over without a fight. Well, I didn't thought it would go that fast. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm not, but I thought like, okay, we're gonna wait a bit then. Uh, I have time to ready my troops, but how it seems like, that isn't the case. Yeah, Finlandsky front, the Finnish front. Uh, these troops will only cover the Finnish steps, while the main force will push in from uh, this area. Here, let's get these lads here. Going to select it, Finnish front. Um, what? Oh, okay, I renamed the wrong front. Um, what? They are Spanish volunteers, aren't they? Wait, I, I forgot about the Spanish as well. Oh yeah, I was helping the Spanish lads. Lads, uh, Finlandsky front. Alright. Let's send the ultimatum to the Finns. Well, I think our job in Spain is done. They really don't require our help anymore that much. Um, I really don't know for what the HQ is used of. I think, ah, I know why. We need to have HQs, yeah? To get rid of the Green Army Command, that's why they shouldn't fight, they should just stand back. Yeah, now I got it, alright. I just thought, like in real life, hmm, why do you need HQs? And then that's the case, why you'll need HQs. Uh, let's get our research up to date. Well, T34, Sorok, Sorok, I didn't Sorok, T34 wasn't just bad. Um, KV wasn't just bad, uh, KV1. Uh, uh, let's go for research, research, inform, but, well, mm. okay, I'm still researching industry. Let's, uh, ahead of time, thanks ahead of time, infantry, uh, HMG, it's up to date, up to date, up to date, now infantry, um, I don't need it right now. Cavalry equipment, pre-war cavalry, uh, well, I don't know, but cavalrys were still highly used in the Second World War, you know? That's one thing, I'm getting a doctrine, basic light artillery, whoa, 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 here are so many new things. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's out. Yeah, I know that. Let's get the air doctrine. 
Yeah, I want air superiority. Let's get that. Perhaps radio as well. Yeah. Here, I have at least 22 troops here. Let's only cover two fronts here. Uh, why would I use a uh, Maluk minus 50% for attack and defense? Why the fuck would you use these lads? Blitzkrieg master. Well, Mikhail Tuchachevsky. He's a nice lad. Let's use him. He'll push straight into Helsinki. Let's see if he pushes incorrect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Seems alright. Uh, wait, actually, I'm here. Yeah. I want them only to push up to that port, then we should, they should capitulate. Uh, oh, that seems better. That way of line. These well, they will distract the enemy. I get the basic commander Ivan Konyev. Awesome general. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I like the mods. Uh, okay. Final three. And the Finns. Well, we should get a message from the Finns. It seems like the Finns didn't accept the ultimatum, which is quite bad. Uh, no one play the Great Purge, the Great Purge. It's done soon. Uh, but division organization minus 50% for 1460 days. Well, that's a thing you did not have uh, when you played the normal game. Minus 50%, just imagine that. Well, okay, no, without joke, you'll like crush him in a few weeks, yeah. Without joke, I'm scared now. I have minus 50% for 1,460 days. Can I maybe remove it with Lessons of War? Yeah. But is it a different one? I don't know, actually. Gains, officers purged. Minus for, for 1,460 days. Okay, that's... Scary. Well, let's go ahead and declare war to the Finnish fascists. Well, I'm not gonna declare war against the Turks because if I'm too aggressive, the lads won't like me and they are more uh, likely to join. Finland rejects Soviet demands. Soviet diplomats have presented an ultimatum uh, to the government of Finland demanding border ad adjustments in the region of Karelia. Karelia. Karelia on Russian. <laughs> Despite a significant build up of Soviet forces on the border, Helsinki has rejected these demands, stating that not a single foot of Finnish soil will be given willingly to the Russian aggressors. International observers fear that a Soviet invasion may be imminent. Well, it is imminent right now. Now, while the Spanish Civil War is done, kind of, I mean, I can't see a way of them willing. They have uh, one military factory, eight divisions. While okay, we have the Great Purge finished. Yeah, actually, collectivist propaganda, positive heroism. Uh, Stalinsky constitutes a uh, five-year plan. Defense of Moscow. I remember the efforts. Well, I think at the most importance is to finish the lessons of the war. That's NKVD. Well, NKVD means Narodny Commissariat Vnutroni Deal. But I'm not sure if I should go for the rehabilitated military. Or I think I'm gonna for the, go for the rea rehabilitated military. With the taint of Trotskyism finally cleansed from the officer corps, it might be possible to allow the military some freedom from political interference again. Yeah, I think so. That's the better path. We don't want to be so dumb as Stalin was. I mean, he, uh, some might say he has done gr great things, I agree, but he has done bad things as well. That's also one thing most people agree on. At least that is. And, uh, 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 oh. What? Um, okay. They have a astonishing, awesome, uh, Ratio of 150. Well, why do we have minus minus 19 breakthrough? What? Minus 19 breakthrough. Is that a joke? Uh, seems like. Uh, okay. Uh, well, 
that makes the game far more interesting right now. I'm gonna assign actually more troops to the upper front. I can't risk anything, let's go uh, like that. Assign these troops to that front, now it's 22. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we lost 12,000 already. Well, we are losing far more than the Finns, so that's at least historical. And do we feel let's actually encircle that division right there. Stipervi Mehani Zaurani Corpus. And we're closing in on Helsinki. Yeah, fuck it, let's send him to Helsinki. Well, this lake, I know from history that this lake was really important for the uh, Leningradian defenders because the Soviets just sprite, um, like, Leningrad was completely surrounded, yeah, they sprite it from that lake with everything. The Germans and the Finns bombed it and actually um, tried to destroy it, but they fired it, so Leningrad could uh, stay alive. Thank God for that. And also one thing is which you might wanna know is in history that the Finns did never close their ring uh, close to Leningrad. Because they had the fear that the uh, Germans might lose and if the Germans might lose they did not want to be so harsh on the Soviets. So the Finns only took back what they had. They did not advance one foot more at least in the Leningradian legions. Actually I don't know if I go for, we need all of Finland, if uh, I'm gonna be drawn into world war. I don't know, so I'm just gonna be safe in case, because I have really no clue. And I'm gonna say we need all of Finland. Okay, it didn't raise any real attention. Great, okay. The games of the 7th, uh, oh, 10th, 11th, what is it, 10th Olympiad. The 11th Olympic Games were recently held in Berlin, Germany, attended by athletes from 49 different nations across the world. The 1946 Summer Olympics are the first in history to have enjoyed limited life tension coverage. The Games were a significant propaganda victory for the German regime, which spent largely on the event. German athletes saw the most success winning 33 gold medals, while the Americans came in second with 24. Four of these were won by Jesse Owens. Okay. <coughs> lost 16,000, they lost 3,000, and our troops did return as well. It's actually Germany up to Leich Division. Stats. Achtung, Panzer, Wehrmacht. Oh, okay. Seems like they'll go for the uh, Soviet German Treaty Max, then probably for the war with the USSR. What do you think? Have I read the? Uh, have I done the correct thing with not piecing out with Finland in the white piece, or have I done a good thing? Uh, because I'm going now and going to puppet them. Well, I think I've done a good thing. Let's puppet them early in 1936, so we lose world tension. We've created 12.9 already. That's uh, far than I wanted. Great, and housing is being. Defended furiously by the Finnish troops. I need more troops here, that's for sure. I am having troubles against the Finns, but these lads don't want to push in. Oh. Uh, um, he can't manage more. Ah. Okay. Uh, a general can only manage 16. I didn't know that. Radion Majnowski. It's, if that's the case, I will yeah, send more troops to my 4th army. Here, 4th army, let's add them these lads as well. 4th uh, army, 45, come on. I wanna crush the fence. The war is going on for uh, way too long if you ask me. Let's see what France up to, let's speed up. Paul B. See the score. Now they all have the Green Army Command Commander, Waffen SS. The armed wing of the Nazi Power Keys Schutzstaffel. 
Its military formations included men from uh, Nazi Germany, along with volunteers and conscripts. Come on, I want to read uh, from both occupied and unoccupied lands. Green, uh, green army commands. Well, I need to build more HQ. Uh, HQ. Here, where do I have basic HQ equipment? Uh, I need 3,000 more. Well. That's a bit, yeah. Let's do it more. Yeah, we need to get our factory up and booming. I have, I have a surplus. Wait, can I sort it like that? No, I can't. I have a 5.7k surplus of horse artillery. Why is it that much? I mean, let's check what is it exactly. Horse artillery is, oh, uh, here. It's horse artillery transports. Oh, it's. 213 per week. Why am I producing that much? I didn't intend to. Are we go? The fall of Finland puppets was well, 6% is okay. I'm gonna take Karhala. Actually, let's check here first. Oh, they have two civilian factories in there. Yeah. And the Soviets claimed it, so I'm gonna take that. Petsamo, they can keep. I'm gonna t take Karhala. Actually, I wouldn't need to take anything, yeah. But here, I'm gonna take it to make the game look better. Or oh, I'm keeping them the rest, so they should be thankful. Yeah. Red Finland, that's great. So we have Finland unified in the commentary. Come on, let's just get in here like that. Alright. I will start now uh, creating some fronts, intense deep fronts with fallback plans. We've done the rehabilitated military, let's go for the military reorganization and check here our... I've also purged. Um, wait, I had something. I had division organization. Minus 50%, that's horrible. Um, three dockyards. I just want to finish the submarines here. Um, let's assign more dockers to that. Not auto, no, no. If auto, like, if they are being deployed there, yeah. Look, I have 45 ships there. I cannot move them all. That's so. It's just so pff, annoying. They are absolutely stuck. I built them for nothing there if I deploy them there. Yeah, in Leningrad. Leningrad, Leningrad, and Leningrad. Alright. Yeah, how I said, I have a... Well, it's only a 33. I'm gonna understand one factory, but I shouldn't create 200 per day. Why am I making 200 per day? It's cavalry equi equipment, it's horse artillery. Transports. That's only transport, and 13 per 9 per day. Alright. Oh yeah, okay. Well, it's fine, I guess. I have only one factory assigned to it, so... Well, I need factories. I'm gonna unassign that horse equipment since I don't need it anymore. Yeah, you need to do lots of, lots of micromanaging here if you play that mod. It's simply astonishing. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's go for war economy. Hell yeah. Uh, no. Oh, uh, yeah. At least we can... What do the fascists have? Uh, partial mo mobilization. The French, they have early mobilization. While the Brits and probably the Americans are stuck. Oh, undisturbed. Isolation. 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 Sorry, my English isn't the best. But I hope you enjoy my English. <laughs> um, free aggression. No, not that. Why? Don't wanna. Just the TB3, whatever his name is. Um, infantry equipment here. Let's see. What is my most up-to-date ship actually? It's the Gnevny class destroyer. Everything is from 1922. Yeah, I'm gonna build some Gnevny class. Destroy us them. Um, yeah, I, I. You can't assign more than four factories. Okay, to one line. That's that's eight per year. 
Um, fine. Yeah, let's go in one more line. Uh, Gnevni Destroyer. Create a variant engine. I can't because I have no null points. Um, um, oh yeah, I need to attack it first. Well, smart. Here, Auto, Leningrad, okay. Well, I am really looking for some challenge now. In that series, I don't wanna be the... I don't wanna play something really easy how it was in our last let's play attempts. Or actually, finish let's play. Um, defense in depth, let's go for that. We need to be up to date on the uh, war. Land doctrine, yeah. Well, these troops I don't need, yeah. I'm gonna make age of my least front. Ponsky front and I'll also help the Chinese. Yeah, heavily. Republic of Spain won. Great. So we have one more possible member for the Comintern. Uh, the end of the Spanish Civil War. With the surrender of the last nationalist forces, the Spanish Civil War has come to an end. The Republicans have emerged victorious and a new era has begun for Spain. The war-torn country has suffered greatly in the fighting and there is much rebuilding to be done. Good for Spain. Yeah. How you like to know, I also need to create some home guards to like guard my ports. Because you never know the AI might invite. Uh, China is... Um, Japan is extra research slots. What do I have here actually? What's that? Uh, Imperial Aus Austerity. Chinese border incident. Or with China or Chinese puppet. Well, interesting. Well, different is now here that Japan controls uh, all of Manguku. Or what was that called? Not Manguku, uh, Manchuria. Yeah. Because. What's that Soviet border block? No. Vlad block. <laughs> That's funny. Border block. I am because I mean in history the Soviets didn't. Uh, the Japanese had that as a client state and not under direct rule. Yeah, the Great Empire of Tanotuba. What are they up to? Who's there? How much manpower? Wow, eighty-six thousand. Probably they are uh, doing sales by requirement. I doubt they can build anything because, well, they can't. That will be our Caucasian line of defense. Uh, let's research something new. We got a radio, and uh, finally, we got the industry. I'm gonna go ahead for uh, what's that? Truck workshops. Uh, ah, right. I don't know. Um, it's. Uh, uniform. Let's go for uniform workshops. As well as uh, truck workshops and ship workshops. Excellent. Lower penalty. That's great. One thing we want. And we can build new things. For now, I am gonna build. Uh, well, um, yeah, civilian factories. Couple more here in the far east. Far away from German bombardment and. Well, Germany in general. Damn Nazis. Uh, international focus, let's lessons of war. But, damn it, I need to make a new war. Fuck, I'm stuck with the penalty. Uh, uh, after the 1st of January 1941, that's really not a thing I wanted, but alright, I'm gonna do well here, finish the 5 year plan for some factories, the basic stuff we need, basically. Hive bombing. Okay, let's organize our army now here. Actually, I'm gonna start like that. I'm gonna simply exclude every HQ garrison because, I mean, we, they should stay back. Here, I'm gonna create the big huge army. Alright, now let's do the job here. With pure infantry divisions. I will use the NKV there probably as... Yeah, we have only 1.5k. I will use the NKVD as my home guards in the army. 
Yeah, 14. If I can, I can only have 19, so I need to make armies of 19 each. 18, 19. Yeah, I don't want Engavede here. I don't want the Narodic Commissariat to run to here. To be here, let's uh, and assign them. I'll assign you two. Oh, we need to add two more to him. Uh, yeah, let's add these two. Alright, uh, you have 130 left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right, these are all different divisions. I need to keep an eye out. 11, 11, okay, okay, these are fine. 11k, because that Murmansk separate Starkovia Divisia has only 3.8k manpower. Yeah, 14, 11, 11 as well, 11, 11, 11. Oh, that was my timer, uh, 11, yeah, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11k, 16, can have up to 19, can have 19 now. Uh, then, let's have some horse. Um, yeah, let's check them, I'm gonna check them all one by one. 11k, it's fine, fine, fine. Fine with you. Um, you have only 1.5k, not good. 11.4, 11.1, 11.1. Yeah, oh no, it's quite boring even for me, but I need to have that done. HQ command, yeah, these are our HQ commands. They will all stay in Moscow. Uh, here. Mechan Mechanizorani Corpus, oh, that's not Stelkov. Divisia 11, yeah, okay. Alright. Okay, 11. Well, I mean, uh, is it correct that the Soviets only start off with uh, an army uh, with only 11 million soldiers? I thought they had a far bigger army in the beginning of the war, and it's only at 1.85 million. We lost even troops, look to that. Reinforcements, wow. Let's get them the first priority. Uh, what do you need here? They need light tanks. Why? Oh yeah, I don't want light tanks to be integrated. If I remove him, what will it grant me? Heart attack, minus 10, minus 6. Yeah, but the speed will stay the same. Yeah, that was a bad idea. I need to use tanks separately, that's for sure. I'm gonna do that as well. I need more troops. What? I'm gonna modify my divisions here actually. I will get some proper artillery. Whether it's uh, motorized or not. Well, I guess no motorized, yeah. Great, we finished the 5 year plan. Let's give them artillery in, uh, in KVD. Uh, um, no. At, um, <coughs> artillery, let's give them some basic artillery. Three and increase it by one here. Infantry, infantry, three for artillery. Should be alright. Maybe three. I don't have that many factories, unfortunately. I can have so much. Well, I want to give them a field hospital. Then motorized uh, armored car. The Rigan Company, let's say that. Well, they need quite a bit of equipment now. Okay, I need. here, yeah, let's go and finish the armored effort. And we have lots of uh, stuff to research as well. Yeah, let's do tool maintenance and as well as concentrated industry, yeah. And here, let's do something for our army. Well, we are researching the land doctrine. So maybe generic armor? Uh, nah. Flamethrower squad. Let's go for that, actually. Flamethrower squads. Why not? Must be funny. A thing which uh, was not included in the base game. 62. Well, we are string still a stronger army than the Germans, which will not stay for long. Well, we might outnumber them, we should outnumber them, but 
equipment and skill wise I am sad that the Germans will be superior to the Soviets. Well, we can really lots of EP. That's great. Can I like modify my guns? No I can't. Oh no, I can actually. Well uniform. Better uniforms. Cheap uniforms. Yeah, cheap uniforms. No why? Yeah, better uniforms. Well, it isn't done yet because build cast is only 0.1. Camouflage upgrades. And all weather gear. Oh, 600. Uh, <laughs> okay, trained army command. There we go, more than 2000 pieces of HQ equipment available. Activates a new national spirit affecting army organization and battle plans. Let's give them here one each. And then from boots, helmets, Mark 1, pre war infantry, weapons quality. Well, we have lots of things that we can do here actually. Well, we have lots of stun, stuff that we need to do. We need to reorganize our fronts, reorganize our armies, get the good defense up, get our army bigger and stronger, get the bounty away. We will do this all in the next episode. I really thank you for joining me. Please leave a like and also a comment below. I hope you like that. I'm looking forward for you again. I'm sacred and I'm out. Have a nice day. And before I forgot, I'm gonna save here. Black USSR. Black USSR. Let's play. Okay, see ya.